Guys, we are here in Mackinac City and we are about to take the ferry over to Mackinac Island. We only have approximately two hours to spend on the island, but hopefully we'll get to see at least a little bit of something while we're there. So stay tuned. best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies i was gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless is really famous for their fudge. So I've walked around, I've gotten two things of fudge so far. We're gonna test it out and see which one we like the best. Also, we just found out that it lasts for like two weeks at room temperature and it doesn't melt until it reaches like 200 degrees. So that's pretty cool. So stay tuned. I'm put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where So sick of waiting And getting too restless to be in this dusty town I've heard of this place where People forget and you get another try So come open up my door I don't wanna be here and let the one pass me by I won't see your face I 
want to, but I'm gonna try When she left me, yeah, but a little bit inside You know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light Yeah, I just wanna see the light Mackinac Island but I, I do want to know why it's spelled in Mackinac anyway Mackinac Island is known for its fudge so we went to four different places to see which fudge that we think is the best and we didn't get the same flavor in each place because who does that so the first place we went to was the original Murdoch's Fudge. And from what it looks like in my research, it looks like that this was actually the first one, if I'm not mistaken. So apparently, a little history on this place is the Grand Hotel, which is located on Mackinac Island, actually hired two people to put up like awnings on their hotel and their names were Henry and Jerome and <laughs> and Henry's wife actually made fudge so Jerome which was their son decided to start making fudge as well on a marble slab so here we go so this one that we got from there is peanut butter fudge we try to wait, stay away from chocolate as much as we can because chocolate kind of makes me, my stomach hurt a little bit. But I think we did get one with chocolate, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We got Butterfinger somewhere. Anyway, okay. So this, <laughs> this knife is wooden. I don't know if it's just for, I don't know, what do you think it's for? Like to save the turtles or something? Maybe. Are there even turtles in Michigan? I'm so confused. There's the Turtle Brewing <laughs> Company on Mackinac. They have their own brewery. So we keep thinking that these lakes are oceans because they're so clear and they're... They have cargo ships on them. If, yeah, they have... Legit they, cargo ships. And they're ships. huge. And I guess just... It's just so weird. This is what it looks like. That's pretty good. It's good. But you know where I've had better peanut butter fudge? Nana. My Nana, yep. Family recipe. I mean, it does kind of melt in your mouth. I have failed making it five times. I can't make fudge either. You have to stir the sugar. You can't, it's constant. You can't undercook it and you can't overcook it when you boil the sugar in. You do it's that. like a constant. I made fudge one time with Poppy. I, I, I don't know, I can't do it. Well, fun fact, if you you, you want to freeze your fudge and it can last up to a year. Mm. You don't want to eat it all. That's and it holds at room temperature so it doesn't melt. Okay, so <sighs> the next place we're gonna try is Joanne's Fudge. And this one's actually kind of special because it's spelled like Jeremy's mom's name. And if you don't know, 
Her name is spelled weird. <laughs> so what was this one? That's the Butterfinger, I think. Oh yeah, it is the Butterfinger. So Joanne's Fudge actually opened in 1969. And right now it's on its third generation of fudge. This is supposed to be known for its smooth and creamy texture. You can see. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. This is what this one looks like. <clears throat> mm, tastes like a butterfinger. It does. I think I could eat that more than I could a butterfinger. Just because I like the texture of that better. Very soft. Ooh, this stuff is definitely sweet. Can't eat a lot of it. Okay, next thing is Ribas Fub Shop. And actually, I found out that this actually started on, um, it was in Detroit in 1936, and they actually used it for, like, a bunch of events and stuff there. And then in 1960, they moved to Mackinac Island. So this one I'm not sure that Jeremy will like. I got strawberry pecan. I know I'm not gonna like it. Mm. You can try it yourself. Mm. That was a little harder to cut. I don't know if it's because, because of the pecans. Of the pecan. mm. That's good. That strawberry flavor is delicious. Mmm. I really like that one. That might be my favorite so far. This one is maple. Is it maple pecan or maple walnut? Maple pecan. It's pecan. You can try that one. I don't want it. Do you want some without the pecans on No. It? I am going to try the other one though. So this fudge is harder to cut. It's the pecans in it. Here, this doesn't have a pecan in it. I just took it out. Mm. I don't like it. Mostly I just taste the pecans. I don't even really taste the maple in that. I mean, kind of, but not really. Oh, that one was different. Okay, and the last one is Murray Hotel Fudge Company. That is the creamiest fudge on the island. Apparently. Apparently. Well, it would help if I could open the box. And they sell donuts. That are good so what did we get? Cin Cine cinnamon bun. Did we get a cinnamon bun? Mm-hmm. This is a cinnamon bun. Oh, I didn't show you guys what the other one looks like. This is what this one looks like. Ooh, I smell the cinnamon. Do you want a bigger piece than that? No. Mmm. It's my favorite. Mmm. Tastes like the inside of a, like the middle part of the cinnamon bun. Mmm. -hmm. That is good. Oh man, this is so hard. I might eat all that tomorrow. So I really do think that this Murray Hotel Fudge Company, I really do think that their fudge is the creamiest, honestly. Mm -hmm. Out of all of them. But for flavor wise, I really like the strawberry flavor of this Ribas Fudge Shop. I really think that that one's my favorite one. Just because of the strawberry, it, the strawberry flavoring is so delicious in it. Did you tell the people that there is no vehicles on Mackinac? It's all horse drawn carriages or bicycles. I feel it's, like I did, but I don't remember if I did. Also, hammocks are illegal, apparently. I guess maybe 
homeless population or something and they just don't want well i'm thinking to save this up for the trees oh i guess how does I cannabis hurt could... the trees well you wrap a, a rope around the tree trunk it's gonna mess up the tree trunk eventually fair okay guys so out of all of those i think my overall favorite you know what mine is the peanut it, it's the honey but the cinnamon bun and the peanut butter bun. okay in in a in like one to zero one being the best and or one to whatever one to four <laughs> okay from one to four what's your favorite to your least favorite one being your favorite four being your least favorite cinnamon bun peanut butter fudge butterfinger and then i didn't even try the other ones so those were the last ones. you tried the maple Oh, yeah, the maple. Disgusting. Okay, so my one to five, I'm going to start with five, was the maple. Then the peanut butter. What? Then, then the butterfinger. And, oh. Okay, for, I think that I'm going to go strawberry second and the Murray Hotel Fudge Company first with the cinnamon bun. Just because with the cinnamon bun, it's creamy. The, the texture is soft and creamy and it melts in your mouth and it has a good flavor. And aftertaste, like I still taste it. Yeah, I can still taste it. Like the cinnamon is like very strong. So I would give that one a number one just because of that. But flavor wise, I do like the strawberry better. I love that strawberry flavor. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Jeremy's being silly. So yeah, anyway, make sure you hit subscribe.